Hey guys, Martek here. Welcome. Today's project is a simple braided dog leash decorated with not so simple decorative knots. Basically the usual for my channel. When it comes to cordage for our project, we're going to need two main cords for a four foot long leash. These two should be 15 feet long each. We're going to need two shorter pieces of cord in the same color as the main two. These two should be two feet long each. To get some color into our decorative knots, we're going to need two further cords. One is two feet long, the other three feet. Next, we're going to need a snap hook. I recommend using a lacing needle and optionally a Swedish fed. Scissors as well as a lighter are our final two supplies. Before I begin braiding, I usually set up a loop on a table edge. So I clamp down a folded piece of cord, then hook in my snap hook. I'm now going to attach my two long cords, so the two main cords, onto the snap hook. Simply feed two ends through, then even out the other two ends, so that all four ends are of equal length. I'm going to do a bit of an initial setup like this. I'm going to leave the right two ends like this, and I'm going to weave the other two ends on the left through the two on the right. The first end is going to pass over under, the other end is going to pass under over. So let's do the four stranded round braid. I've braided my braid until my ends are a bit over a foot long. At this point, I measured out a distance of four feet, and at the four foot mark, I'm going to fold my braid like this, forming the handle for our leash. Now, we're going to work our four ends back into the braid, securing our handle into place. Now to do this, you can either use a Swedish fed, 
a lacing needle, or just a regular thread. Each out of our four ends is going to follow a different strand in our braid. First, let's do these two facing up. They're going to follow two strands facing in the same direction. Take the first one, pass it alongside one of the strands in the braid. So this one is going to follow this strand in the braid. The other one is going to follow this strand under here. So we've done these two strands. Now we're going to flip our handle over and to do the other two strands as well. Again, they're going to be following two strands going in the same direction. So let's say these two here. So this one is going to follow this one here. This one is going to follow this one, so under here. So this is one tuck with all four ends. Pull on your ends, securing the handle into place. I'm going to continue with this cord, which is furthest in into our braid. I'm going to follow the strand in the braid for one more tuck. I'm going to take the next strand furthest in in the braid. This time, I think I'm going to need two tucks. Again, following the strand in the braid. So, under here. Under here. The goal here is to get all four ends to about the same spot in the braid. Take the next cord furthest in in your braid, follow the strand in the braid up to this point. This time I think I'm also going to need two tucks. So one The last cord again follows 
a strand in the braid. This time, I think I'm going to need three tucks. So one, two, Three. So at this point, your four ends should be at about the same point in your braid. To make the tying process for the decorative knot, a bit easier to see, I'm going to cover this section with a bit of paper. To continue, we grab our four ends, line them up, one next to the other, then do two wrap arounds around our spliced section. So one, two, our ends are here on the bottom right, and we have eight strands to weave through. Take your first end, pass it under, over, under, over, under, over, under, under over. So a total of four unders, four overs. Grab your second end, start your sequence under the previous end. So under, then parallel to the previous end, doing the same sequence. So, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Again, a total of four unders, four overs. Take your third end, Start your sequence under the previous end and continue the same sequence. So over under, over under, over under, and over on the left. The last of our strands is going to pass under the previous end, then do the same sequence as before. So, over under, over under, over under, over. So every time we went under over, under over, under over, under over. Now we're going to pass our four ends under the knot to the right side. 
take one of your hands, remember that it finishes by going over a strand, which is the start of an end. So over here, then under the entire knot, to the right side. The next end, again, finishes by going over, under the knot, to the right. The next end, again, over, under the knot, to the right. The last of our ends, again, over, then, under the knot, to the right side. For the interweave, we're going to be using 3 feet of cord, plus a lacing needle. Start by traveling under the strand, placing your cord onto the right of one of your ends. So the end here is coming out of the braid, so out of the splice. Follow your end, going over, under, over, under, over, under. Just before exiting the knot here, we turn back around, go under one, then continue by following the strand here. So over one, under one, over two to split a pair, then under one, over one, under one. The under one here is under an end coming out of the braid, so out of the splice. Then we turn back around, starting by going under a strand, coming again onto the right side of one of the ends, so the end is coming out of the braid, so out of the splice. Again, follow the end on its right. Over, under, over two to split a pair, under one, over one, under one. Again, before exiting the knot on the right, Turn back around, going under two, splitting a pair of strands. Follow this strand again. So over one, under one, over two to split a pair, under two to split a pair,
over 1, under 1. The under 1 is under an end coming out of the braid. Turn back around, starting your sequence by traveling under 2. Then over 1, under 1, so again following the end here on its right. Continue over 2 to split a pair, under 2 to split a pair. Over 1, under 1. On the right, we turn back around before exiting the knot, starting under 2, following the strand, over 2 to split a pair, under 1. over 2, under 2, over 2, under 1, so under an end, coming out of the braid. Continue, turning back around, going under 2 to split a pair, Then over 2 to split a pair, under 1, again following the end here on its right. Continue over 2, under 2, over 2, under 1. Finally, our last sequence, we turn back around, going under 2, following this strand here, continuing over 2, under 2, over 2, under 2, Over 2, under 1, so again under an end coming out of the braid, then take your working end, pass it under the entire knot to the right side. I'm now going to remove my piece of paper, then start tightening up my knot. To tighten up your knot, you need to go through all of the strands in the knot, so a total of 5. Start at an end, coming into your knot, run the slack through the knot, into one of your ends. Take another end, do the same thing. So we're going to repeat this four times. When tightening up your knot, try to keep the parts here lined up neatly, one next to the other, and here as well.
Finally, we do our interweave cord as well, starting at the standing end, going through the knot. After your tightening process, what we're going to do is trim the ends, then roll our knot. After rolling the knot, we add a second one here at the start of our braid. This one is going to be slightly smaller, but done in the same style. Take two cords, each two feet long. Feed them through at the start of your braid. Even out the first two ends. Add the second cord at a right angle to the first one. Again, evening out the two ends. We have four ends to work with. To make things easier to see, I'm going to cover this section here with a bit of paper. The second decorative knot is tied pretty much the same way as the first one. We're just going to make it slightly shorter. Instead of using two wrapper rounds at the start, we're going to be using one and a half. Grab your four ends, line them up one next to the other, wrap around, grab the first two ends. Do another wrap around, ending up here on the bottom right. We now have four ends and a total of six strands to weave through. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your first end, weave through the six strands, under, over, under, over, under, over. So, a total of 
three unders, one, two, three, three overs, one, two, three. Grab the second chord, pass under the previous end, then travel parallel to it, doing the same sequence. So, under, over, under, over, under, over. So again, three unders, one, two, three, three overs, one, two, three. Grab the third end, do the same thing as before. Pass under the previous end, then travel parallel to it, doing the same sequence as before. So, under, over, under, over, under, over. So again, a total of three unders, one, two, three, three overs, one, two, three. The last of our ends, Again, passes under the previous end. Then, travels parallel to the previous end, doing the same sequence as before. So, under, over. Under, over. Under, over. Again, a total of three unders, three overs. On the left, we're now going to run our four ends under the knot to the right side. Grab an end. Remember that we passed over at the end of our sequence. So over one of the ends coming into the knot. Just after our over, we pass under the knot to the right. Take the next end, repeat. So over, then immediately to the right side. Over immediately to the right. Over, immediately to the right. So this is our base knot. Again, we are going to add an interweave. This time, we are going to be using two feet of cord, and a lacing needle. Start by going under a strand, reaching the right side of one of your ends coming out of the braid. Follow it to the right, going over, under, over, under. On the right, we do not exit the knot, instead we turn around, going under, and following this strand here. So, over, under, over to the split up pair, 
then under. So this under goes under an end coming out of the braid. Turn around, going under, coming to the right side of another end coming out of the braid. We're going to follow it to the right. So over, under, over two, under one. On the right, we do not exit the knot. Instead, we turn around, going under one, then again following this trend here. So over, under two, over two, under one. The under one is again under an end coming out of the braid. Turn around, passing under one, reaching another end coming out of the braid. Travel on the right of it, following this end here. So over, under two, over two, under one. On the right, turn back around, going under one. Follow this strand here, over two, under two, over two, under one. On the left, we turn around, going under one, reaching another end coming out of the braid. Pass alongside the end, over two, under two, over two, under one. Turn back around. In our final sequence, we start under two, following this strand here, over two, under two, over two, under one, under the strand, or end coming out of the braid. Now, pass under your knot all the way to the right. This finishes your knot. I'm going to remove this paper here. Then tighten up my knot, again one strand at a time, starting with the ends coming out of the braid, going through the entire knot, into one of the ends. Again, for a nice looking knot, try to keep your strands lined up.
we do our interweave chord as well, starting at the standing end, going through the knot. When done, trim the ends. Remember to roll your knot for the best look possible. So guys, that's our leash. Now I know that this whole project was quite a wild ride. These decorative knots are not easy, but anything worthwhile does take time and effort. Otherwise anyone could do it. So for now, I hope I presented everything clear enough. Thank you very much for joining me today and see ya next time.